Rita. Yes, Lola. It's Rita and my doggies, my corgis here uh, today for for Cricket Chat. This is pop-up week. Pop-up week. So we're doing all kinds of pop-up cards. We're especially focusing on the cards that were newly added to Design Space this week. Uh, yesterday, we did the pineapple. Last week, we did this is a pineapple, but not in the card. Um, and last week, we did the unicorn. And today, we are going to tackle the hot air balloon. This is my version of the hot air balloon. And you'll see, I know I um, used some really pretty paper. I'm going to show you where I got them or who they're, who they're by so that you can look for something similar. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Lita. Hi, who else? Chi-Town. Hi, Chi-Town. Uh, Linda, how are you? Anna Maria, Kathy. <laughs> Nice to see you all this morning. Um, nice to see you. So we're going to be making a pop-up card um, in just a few short moments. I wanted to just tell you a couple of things um, that are that are brewing or happening right now. Um, I had a meeting with some people. Uh, that are local, um, talking about, you know, business, small business. And I guess I'm considered a small business, although, <laughs> you know, I don't know, whatever. I don't want to, you know, I don't, it's not like I, I'm looking at my profit margin or anything like that. I've been in business before, so, you know, this doesn't feel like business to me. It feels like fun. But anyway, we were talking yesterday about, um, you know, is there a way that I could bring my online business to local? So I'm starting to have that conversation because I'm running out of space in my home. Um, I have an enormous, uh, an enormous enclosed porch. Then I also have stuff in my den and then I have stuff in the basement and upstairs. And uh, I love, love, love to craft, but I kind of want my house to look like a normal house again. Um, and I just have so much paper, so much uh, so much vinyl, iron-on, infusible ink, blank, stuff like that. Most of it's paper, though. Um, so I'm starting to have that conversation, which is kind of exciting, about maybe I need to move my studio. Sorry about the dogs. All right, you. Stop, 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 stop. So... <laughs> And then the other conversation where we've been having is about Lola because she's kind of a little bit of a hothead. And today she might be a little bit much because she hasn't had her medication. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So I do apologize for that. But it is also trash day. And um, so they get pretty excited on trash day for some reason. Anyway, um, so there that's going on. Also going on with not a lot of people putting their uh input in so this is a good opportunity for you if you want to win a cricket joy my september bundle of joy giveaway is going on now and i did post the link in uh facebook and youtube i think i might have to do a separate video about it because um because I want to get as many people as I can uh, signing up for that. And so all you need to do is be following me. And if you are following me on YouTube or Facebook, then comment, share, like, do all those wonderful things. And then get back to the link and put your name in. You put your name in your email address. And I do not use that email address for any purpose other than, you know, cricket stuff. Like, so just so you know. Okay. You can't figure out how to get it. Get what? Um, so today we're going to be working on this. Uh, they're saying good morning. Yes, they are. So today we're going to be working on this, which is a pop-up. I call it a honeycomb because of the way that it looks on the inside. 
Um, this one is actually easier. The pieces are bigger. So I was going to do two today and I thought, you know, I think I'll just do one and we'll just focus on on how to put it together. This I found was much easier than the pineapples. Probably should have started with this. But anyway, um, I had to put my own finishing touches on there, which includes some really great paper that I use. This paper is from Doodle Bug. Doodle Bug. And I wanted to show you also when you guys were ooing and aahing over the really cute uh, flamingo. This was from Doodlebug. This is the name of the company, Doodlebug, Doodlebug Designs. And the name of this paper is called Flock of Flamingos. So you can buy, and there's the backside. And this, here's another one. Fun in the Sun, double-sided cardstock. Now, um, these I got from Joann's. Um, it's part of a package of year-round doodlebug designs. So there's like stuff for Halloween and for Christmas and for Valentine's Day and all that stuff. So if you want me to post that uh, a link, maybe an Amazon link to it. Hi, Perlita. Um, uh, if you want me to post a, uh, a link to that, I will do that. But, um, of course you can make it exactly the way that it's planned, but I had to add a few little, um, extras to it. And that included a front, which I then decided I don't want, I didn't want. Um, but then I also added this miles above the rest because I was trying to find very hard trying to find this and then also look at this paper it's like flocked it's like that soft flocking and so I put that on the on the uh, exterior so just doing things like changing out the paper from solid to a pattern paper this paper is just so cute and I thought oh this looks so cute like all these things going on and this hot air balloon was flying above them so there is what I did. So that is that is the design for today. Let's have a look at what it looks like um, in design space. So I'm just going to start new. So this is where you would find um, you'd start new on your on your screen. And by the way, if you'd like, I can uh, give you the file that I made the moderations and also the little saying so I can do this but I want you to see where it is from um and so Te Lola please oh my goodness oh congratulations Diane is a new grandmother congratulations yay yay yay, yay. all right you guys gotta settle down please Okay, congratulations. Hi, Mary Jane. Okay, so when you start from this, uh, you need to stop, Lola. Apologize, she is very loud today. Okay, so when you're starting with uh, Design Space, you're going to start with this new, this is a new screen, a blank screen. So if you have something on your screen, as long as you've saved it, you can go over here and hit the new plus right up here. And then there are many choices from the top down. There's templates, projects, images, text, shapes, and upload. So those are the buttons you're going to be using to get images onto your canvas with the exception of uh, templates because templates is more like so you can see how it looks on whatever the template might be. So we're going to go to projects right here, projects, and we're going to pull up actually this is just like the home page of projects. So um, will you please stop it? Please stop it. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Thank you. Um, okay. So 
at the home page of projects, you'll notice that they've added three new uh, projects. They're always adding projects here. And so the most recent ones that they added are these um, butterfly and bouquet pop-ups. But we did the pineapple yesterday. We did the unicorn last week, as I mentioned. We are going to do the dragon we're going to do the snowflake and the cupcake. So if you are interested in seeing those, I think that would should do us do it for the week. And if you need to see the other ones, we can always go back. I do want to get to this butterfly. So mm, we might be running out of time. So, so we'll figure something out. Anyway, um, so here it is, and you're just going to click on it, and you'll say you'll see it says one to two hours. It really didn't take me that long once I sort of got the the hang of it, and it tells you what you need. So there is a tiny bit of scoring in this. You will need a pen. Um, I used a new pen from that gumball pack that we all that a lot of us got the. Um, the market uh, market bags, the mystery box. So I used this blue. It's sort of a navy. Extra, it's midnight blue. That's what I used. That's from this extra fine point pen set that is, I think, on sale, but also came in the mystery box, last week's mystery box. So if you got that, look for these pens in there. I've used... Uh, almost all of these. They're fun. They're fun. They're very thin, extra fine point. And so that's pretty cool. So you're going to need that. You're going to need um, a little tiny bit of glue and scoring. Okay. So what you would do here is we'd hit customize and it would bring everything up to your uh, page. Now, it does bring it up as a group, so um, sometimes you have to unload it. But at first, let's just have a look. So we have a lot of these hearts. Now, these bigger heart with the basket, two of them have these little tiny tails on them. The other two do not. And so these two colored ones... And these pieces right here become the major, uh, like, uh, the major part components. And the rest of these things are extra, including the adorable um, basket around the balloon. So once you figure this out, you can start making changes. Like, for instance, I do not like this pink, so I just decided to switch to a light pink. Um, and I started, first I started with mostly cardstock, and then I just sort of kind of uh, added patterned paper. That's how I do it. Um, this is the inside piece that I knew that was the inside piece. So I just cut it from that doodle bug paper. But I was thinking about putting an outside piece here. Uh, but then I saw that it would not look good. Let me show you. Uh, so here's my design. You see all the writing on that design? So if I did an outside piece over it, it would really cover that up. So I decided, no, not to do that. So um, so the only thing that I added was um, a little, um, as a little uh, sentiment on the top. And I will tell you, I don't know if I was just looking at all the wrong places or what, but uh, like I typed in things like um, up, up and away uh, <laughs> and, uh, just things that I would think of, you know, remember that song, Up, Up and Away, in my beautiful balloon, right? Nothing, nothing. Um, so, oh, well, right over here, but that's a pen thing. So I was not too pleased with that. So I started putting different things in there, and I think um, I came across, I'm going to go show you, because it's really a fun image set that you should know about. And I always forget it, but it, there's actually two of them. It's called Wild Card. 
wild card and there are two there's wild card the original and wild card uh, two and so I went to wild card two and um, I read over all of the little quippy uh, things that are there so you can see um, you float my boat thanks for lunch miles above the rest that's the one that I ultimately chose um, and you're a hoot, and I imagine that goes with the uh, with a an owl. Um, I've made this telephone card; it's absolutely a blast to make. And there's just a lot of stuff here, so come and have a look under here. I've made this one as well, and the the colors are not super appealing, um, as maybe you might think. Uh, but once you start changing out the colors to match your color scheme, they become really good little uh, sentiments for the front of your card. So um, they're, they're just fun, you know, get whale. <laughs> so apparently that's supposed to be a whale. Um, and there's, you're a fox, feel better, congrats. Thanks a bunch. So there's a whole bunch here. And so um, let's go back up. I used Make-A-Wish also for the other one. So let's go uh, back up and choose Miles Above the Rest. Okay, so here it comes Miles Above the Rest. And obviously it's not in the color scheme that we want. This is more of a pinky uh, with some of my favorite green. Um, so what I want to do is take it and like sort of resize it so that it's going to fit. And that's what I did right here. I just kind of shrunk it down using that little handlebar. But I need to change the colors because I'm not going to add a whole mat just for a little saying. So in order to do that, I need to come up here to um, color sync. I'm not even sure you can see it, but right here. So up here, uh, so we talked about the left side. This is the right side. So on the right side, you'll see layers and then to the right of it, you'll see color sync, okay? Um, when you are on layers, which is where you'll always sort of land uh, with any project, you will see that under each of the um of the item. So here is this one's called Miles Above the Rest. And you'll see it has four mats. That's what that means. It wants to cut this out in four mats. And so there's red, yellow, green, and black. So I thought, mm, I don't know that I want to use those colors. So, but I want to cut them out with the rest of my design. So I went over here to Color Sync. And when you go to color sync, it gives you um, sort of a representation of what is in that or on that mat. So in this one, there's a pink, there's white, then there's like a light blue, a dark blue, and then a light er blue, which could might be like a pale blue. And then you'll see that the envelope and the um, and the uh, what do you call it? The, the, the carriage, the part where they're going to be sitting in the basket. Um, that's, that's what that is. So th then going further, you'll see that these are my four, uh, pieces. So if I want to re to, if I want to change this and cut it out in the colors that I want, I just need to take it and drag it. So in this case, I'm going to make the back of it be, uh, a, a jade green color and then I'm going to take the one that is uh, the and change that to um, to pink so you see how they're changing a little bit so you can see when you're in here Lola honey Lola what come on um, yeah Lola. all right so this is what I'm doing all right come here come here and relax 
Oh, yeah, yeah, she's feisty today. She needs her medication. I don't think I mentioned this, but um, she's, I got her medication through Chewy this time, and it hasn't come yet, so I need to keep her corralled today so she doesn't cause a problem. Anyway, that's how you use the uh, color sink layers. You can also use it for the rest of your design as well. So that's what I'm doing here, and I can sort of change whatever I want to do for these images. And now I have uh, gotten it down to two, four, six, seven colors or seven mats instead of what do we have before? 12. So you do this before you go to cut it. Okay. Um, and as far as cutting this out, there's really nothing to talk about um, with exception of there are a couple of mats that are going to require you to use scoring and then a pen and then basic cut, okay? So you'll see there's one, two, three, four mats that are gonna require you to swap out the scoring for a pen if you are using your scoring stylus. So let me just kind of show you what that looks like. We'll go ahead and hit continue. Now I'm working from my maker, my original maker, and I do have the scoring wheel. However, um, I want to use my scoring stylus, which means I will have to determine, do I score it first and then do the writing? Yes, that's the way it goes. So you'll see the order that it's in here. So it first goes score, then a pen, and then the basic cut. So that's the order that you're going to put it in. So put your paper on your mat and get out your scoring stylus. If you have a maker and you want to score for um, for the maker with the scoring wheel, you can certainly do that. But for me, I only get out my special tools when I have a lot of something. So when we're doing a, like things that require a, like rosettes that require a lot of scoring, then I'll use my scoring wheel, okay? Okay, you got to be quiet. Now she's sitting down, which is a good thing. So if you want to change this and you have a maker, you would just hit edit tools and choose scoring stylus. Okay. And then you would take your, uh, your mat, load the paper on the mat, and then, um, make sure that you have that scoring stylus in your clamp A. This is a scoring stylus in case you've never seen it. It's, um, one of two ways that you can do scoring scoring on the Cricut. This one is the most universal, but it doesn't make a real deep score. The other one is called the scoring wheel, which is only for the maker machines. Let me see if I can grab my scoring wheel. Uh, yeah, here it is. So this is a scoring wheel for the maker, and the, you'll notice that there's an 01 here. That's because there are two uh, there are two kinds of scoring wheels. There's 01, 02, and that's how do you distinguish them. The uh, scoring wheel is part of this uh, interlocking or adjustable tool system. Um, so once you click on this end piece and you, uh, you can dislodge or take out this. Um, so there is the scoring wheel, but we're not going to use the scoring wheel for this because it's very, uh, it's, it's very little scoring. So it's best to just kind of do it with your scoring stylus. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, oh, I hope everything is going okay here. We're going to come down and we're going to start putting this adorable thing together, um, and I'm just going to also show you like sort of a preview, but I need to go back to the drawing board. This is uh, tomorrow and I have to go back to the drawing board, but I decided to use my Hello Kitty celebration paper that was on sale at Cricut. Um, I think it was like three bucks or two bucks uh, on sale. And so I decided to use that. I thought that would be fun. So that's tomorrow um, or maybe later on the week. Maybe we'll do it later. 
later on the week. Okay, so this one here, again, it's just a card. It opens up. There's one score here. There's an opening here that, um, and, and writing that does writing on here. I did cut this out and attach it. Um, but, and so you won't find it in the regular. There's my pineapple. Um, chasing me okay um and then what you'll see just to give you all the different views this is what it's going to look like so let's put it together and i can explain this is much easier than the pineapple i think that's why my pineapple is protesting so you're going to cut everything out so which is what i did so the first thing i would do so that I can set it aside, is do the outside and inside of the card. So there's our um, score line, okay? And then these two pieces, again, these are doodle bug, and they have two sides, right here, right here. Um, and we're going to put uh, on, on this side that has the curve, we're gonna match the curves on the card. Okay, but what you'll see is that this is what's on the back of my cardstock, and so that's what peeks out. So instead of uh, that, I might try for something else. So I'll just show you um, how I did that. So, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just folding it, and then we're going to glue the inside panels in to the card. So that's the easy part, right? And I honestly, I like to leave like a quarter of an inch all around because I like that look. But if you don't, um, you and you want to put these all together like this, you would have like probably almost a half an inch at the top. So I do like to do that. Be careful when you're putting glue on this part because you don't want to put glue in where that hole is all right so here we go let's make sure i got that right okay so there is the inside of the card let's talk about the outside of the card now if you um, if you want, there is a piece here that, that you can cut out. And um, then there are other little pieces that I used from the cutout. So here I've got this one. You know, I don't know if I'll use it, but when you are cutting out, sometimes the little cutouts are, are fun to have, you know. So that's what I do. Now let's talk about the saying that we did so here it is miles above the rest and i did cut it out in the four colors just so you can see it so there is the actual um offset layer and so i'm just going to glue the back of this now if you are a uh, new and you um you don't know what to use for glue. Maybe you've always used vinyl and and then the idea of going to glue and so you're going to like uh, Michaels and standing in front of the glue aisle, which I have done. I am not ashamed to admit. I've stood in front of the glue aisle for a long time looking for the right glue. You're probably not gonna find this glue that I use um, at Michaels unless maybe, uh, you know, it's like kind of local to you. Um, but I love this glue. You can buy it online from Amazon. You can buy it even with my affiliate link. And again, that will be in the description of the, um, of the video. So if you wanna find out, it's called Barely Art precision craft glue okay so all i'm doing is i'm gluing together these four um bits so that i like the way this is done um there it's like layers it's all staying as one piece and you were just putting on the the pieces above that see that and then there's the the so we just have to glue that the on Okay, once we get this um, this sentiment 
on to the card. We're done with the actual card for a while. Now, as far as sentiment, um, as far as doing pop dots for this, I liked doing a pop dot for this because I thought it looked kind of cool. So um, I'm taking a little bit of pop dot material and I'm going to put it in here. It might be a little too long. So let me do this. And the important thing about pop dots is you want to make sure they don't show through in the front. This one's kind of showing through just a little bit there. And then once you get them on, you just peel this away and put it on, oops, put it on this, okay? Okay, now let's tackle the um, hot air balloon. So we're so we're done with this. So let's put this aside. Okay. Um, so let's take out all the pieces for the balloon, so you can see what's going on. All right. So as I mentioned, there are these two pieces in pink that have writing, and they have slits at the top and bottom. And then there are these two pieces that I cut out in this green. And from this point on, you're not gonna be using glue, a very minimal. So you can put your, your pin back in your glue there. Okay, so there are these two things. Then there are these pieces. This is actually the starting piece these two pieces. They look weird when I first looked at them, <laughs> but um, then I got, I got the idea. I understood. Okay. So you got these four, six, and then you also have the baskets, which are on the bottom. This is the basket cover, which has some uh, scoring in. You can do the scoring now if you want. This does take a bit of time to write out because it's very, very, um, it's very, very intricate. And then you also have some hearts, some extra hearts. So you have these, these dark green ones, and then you have these smaller ones, which I actually cut out um, in that, see that, that's a velour, okay? So those are kind of extras. So the main pieces are these four and then these two, which are side pieces, okay? So this has the scoring on it. So we're gonna fold here and fold here, you see? And I just wanna give you an idea. So this is actually, I'm holding it wrong. The point goes on to, um, is, is pointing down. Okay, so we're going to also score here. Oh, she is just a, mm -mm. she's just on fire today. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna fold these two pieces um, and make sure you're folding at the right place because I, when I was doing my cupcake, I was folding at the wrong place and it caused a lot of confusion for me and it made the card hard to go down. So here are the two pieces. This part is facing down and we're going to glue them together like this. We're making a box out of two pieces. Pen. I spoke too soon. You do need a little tiny bit of glue for this. Okay. So there are the two side pieces. You see how it matches perfectly. Plus it gives some stability by having a two piece there. And then this one goes over here. So put a little bit of glue on it and close that. Okay, so there, it's not looking like a, a thing yet, but that's okay. So there is what it's gonna look like. It's actually gonna be on the side. So um, these two pieces, there's the pink and the green. The green have the tails on it. So the pink are gonna be the innermost uh, layer. So we're going to go ahead and, you see how it has these two slits here. We're gonna go ahead and stabilize the uh, box that we just made by putting in uh, the 
the pink to the closest cutout to the middle. If that makes sense. So you see this? And make sure you push it all the way down. So here we are. That's what it looks like so far. I'm going to take the other one and with the print facing out towards us and when you turn around the um I put it in the wrong. I did put it in the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Um there we go. Okay. So there it is. And then on this side, we're going to take the other pink one and put it in with the writing facing out. Okay. So this is the first sort of step in this card. And it's fairly stable, but just so you can see, this is what your first step should look like. It's doesn't, it's not looking like a hot air balloon too, too much, but it's getting there. So then we're gonna take the green piece and we're going to put it in the second one from the inside or from, from the top. You see, there's, there's a, still another slit. We're gonna put it in this slit and then this slit, okay? There you go. And you can actually take the little tails and sort of fold them over. Then we're gonna take this one and do the same. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So, there we go. So it's starting to look like an air balloon, which is pretty cool. Then we need to put on um, some of the others. So we've got this darker green one that we're gonna put in that last slit on either side. So there is that last slit. Put that in like this and turn it over, take that another one and put it into that slit like this. Okay, here you go. Most of it is done now. And if you want, you can sort of start like playing with it to make sure it folds like this. All right. Now we have to do a little bit of decorations. Um, so we're going to take this white and well, I think I'll use this instead. You can use whatever you want, but I like this sort of um, velour or flocked paper. That also is from Doodlebug Designs and, um, and comes in that pack that I have. All right, whoops. So I'm just put I put it on the white cardstock to give it a little bit of stability. <laughs> And so then we we glue this on here and you notice that it, it covers that stabilization piece, which is so cool, right? And make sure you, you get it covered. So that's what I'm doing here. So you don't need to put glue on the entire heart, okay? And turn it over, we're gonna do the other side. Oh, Lola, you give me Ajita. Um, have you ever seen a hot air balloon uh, or been in one? I have never been in one, but I do know when I, like, I think it was 1989 or 1990. I did go to, like, a festival out in Western Mass that had all these hot air balloons in them and that was really cool. Um, it, they're really monstrous and really <laughs> just quite um, oversized. Okay, so here we go. There is, we're done, almost done. And there are all of our layers. So let's count those layers. We got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers, okay? On the top and it folds like this. Now, um, there's no glue here, so you might have to put pieces back in, just like I just did. Um, but once they're in the card, they should stabilize, okay? So the bottom pieces are just sort of for, um, 
for to make it more square. So we're gonna turn our balloon on the side and then we're going to just put it in like almost like two combs. You're lacing the, the uh, teeth of the combs like this. One, two, three, and four. Whoops. All right. There you go. And then you're going to turn it over and do the same thing with your piece. Okay. So there we go. Almost done with the balloon. And we're going to start putting it into your, um, or into the card itself. She's a pistol today, man. Uh... So that's just indication that that medicine is working because <laughs> she is a pistol and she's not on her medication. All right, so I don't know what a dog has to be so anxious about. I mean, it's a pretty awesome life, right? <laughs> okay, so here is the end uh, result. Okay. Now there's going to be decoration over there. So don't worry about it. But then we're going to take this cloud. These are all just extra pieces. We're going to take this cloud and this has a score line right here. You can't probably see it, but I can. And so I'm going to score it like this. And then I'm going to take my balloon and sort of nestle those two those, oh my God, uh, I'm nestling, okay, all right, okay, I get it, I get it, so I'm nestling it in there, it's going to be sort of sideways when it's inside the card, come on, honey, um, it's going to be sideways when I'm, when it's in the card, please don't irritate her, because she's already irritated enough, she doesn't have her medication today, okay, so here are the tails, they're on the back of the cloud. I'm going to just put a little tiny bit of glue. Santos here and he he yells at Laura. He doesn't yell at her but he's like, Lola, stop it. So uh, she gets all barky before he even does that. Okay. So here's what we've done. We've gone ahead and put these in. Now what you'll notice is that that means your balloon is not going to be straight on the card because here's the fold right here like this. So when you get this all together, which I didn't do this, I didn't wait patiently for this part. All right, so there it is. Isn't that cute? Now we can take our card base. Where did I put the card base? Here we go. So we can take our card base and there's still one more piece to put in. Um, and we're just gonna kind of like align it here. Then this is the piece with all of the writing on it. It's going to get attached. There's a little slit here, which you can glue if, and I would glue. So I'm going to glue. So we put that little slit in there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there, just a tiny bit, so that it holds this piece together. And maybe I shouldn't have done that because I'm thinking I should put it on the card. <laughs> yeah, but I'll do it on the card for it. So it's just sort of like a belt, a cummerbund if you will onto the bottom like this. It is not attached to the cloud. It is not really attached to anything. It's just sort of a decorative piece like this, see? Okay, so once we have that all together, we need to just simply adhere it to the inside of the card. So. Um, we're going to put a little bit of glue on here. Don't know what her problem is. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. This is a very barky episode. Um, okay, so we're going to put all the glue in there. And then we're going to take this piece that has the fold here. Lola, come here. Lola. 
Come here. Come here. No, she don't want to come here. Okay. We're going to put that fold right on the fold of the card. So you might have to sort of eyeball it a little bit or move it around a little bit. Okay. Lola, you need to stop. All right, so I need to be able to close the card like this, and so you might want to train it a little bit once you get that piece on the inside, okay? And believe it or not, that is it. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, it's just so cute, and I don't think this was as hard as the, um, as the, as the pineapple, do you? Um, she she's on medication but i had to switch over to oops i had to switch over to to um chewy for the prescription and it hasn't come in the mail yet so there we go it's coming today so there we go our um hot air balloon that opens up you know you could think of all different ideas you could probably put like clouds here uh, but I liked this coloring and I thought it looked kind of cool. So again, this is how they would put it in. And there is an envelope. Uh, where is my envelope? Okay, here's my envelope. Here's my envelope. It's actually a really nice envelope. And I did make it this time. And I'm folding at the creases. Or at the score lines. Okay, so you fold there, and then here are our four flaps for the um, envelope, just like this, and then this bottom piece, and just need a little tiny bit of glue to close this up. All right, Lola, all right. We could even use one of these little pieces as sort of a decorative closure if we wanted to. Or a sticker or something like that. Okay, so there's the envelope and there is my my card. So I'm just going to, I hope it's dry by now. I'm just going to pop this in the envelope. Make sure you do it easily because, or, or gently because you have your front piece on there but you're going to just pop this in like this close it and either hand deliver it or you can put a label on the front and it is a square card so make sure that you are um using uh, you're using the proper postage okay so here you go imagine getting this in the mail Wow, miles above the rest. And then there we go. So cute. And then they'll display it somehow like this. Isn't that adorable? Or maybe they'll put it back in the bot in the envelope and tell everybody to open it or whatever. But this was a favorite project. I, I am I am liking this project. The pineapple was a little too and here is just the pineapple. It was like a little too detailed. So this is what it looks like from the top versus this, which is a lot of detail there, okay? So that is going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like, um, I can post the link to the paper that I used, that this paper, and uh, it is a doodle bug design. Also, I will give you my my design space file that has this here so that way you know um, where to get it and that's sort of going to do it for me today do you like it um oh yeah thank you okay yes you do want to see that all right that's lovely so there is our beautiful hot air balloon square card um, I hope that you try this one um, the the honeycomb uh, pineapple was difficult so if you tried that and you kind of got stuck then try this one because it is much easier to understand okay
Thank you everyone for coming today. I hope to see you again tomorrow where we're going to do another fun pop-up card, okay, from Design Space. These are free designs to anybody that um, that has Cricut access. If you don't have Cricut access, it's going to cost you. <laughs> um, but if you have Cricut access, they're free for you to make. And they just make a terrific gift. Especially if maybe you're giving a gift card or something. I always like to, you know, have a really nice card that um, if I'm going to give a gift card. Nowadays, everybody wants money. So they can pick the stuff out themselves. Anyway, thanks everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow um, on Cricut Chat with. And it, yes, it is in Design Space. Um, and I'm also going to give you the file in the description. So do come back and please, please, please. If you think, oh, I never win anything, you could win um, a brand new Cricut. Uh, joy with all the stuff you need to get started and that's from me and the folks at Cricut so it's super easy to get your name in all you do is follow the link on the uh, description and put your name and email address after you've subscribed or shared something from my YouTube and something from my Facebook page all right yeah you, all you need to do is click through and you have to be subscribed um or you can share if you're already subscribed okay all right everyone i think i might do a little video just to explain that to people all right everyone have a great day i will see you again tomorrow take care